Good morning, good morning, good morning. Happy Vlogmas, or no, this ain't Vlogmas. Happy Vlogsember. Happy 12 days of Christmas. Good morning. It's morning, good morning, good morning. Whatever you want to call it, good morning. If you are new to the channel and this is your first time stumbling across my video, hi, I am Miss Lovely, or you can call me Carla. Whichever you prefer, it doesn't matter. I am considered to be the rich friend. I'm the rich sis, the rich big sis. Okay, that's what you can call me because I am rich. Okay, if you like the essence of today's video or any other video that I post, I ask that you subscribe to the channel. I'd be more than happy to have you become part of my internet family. And if you are an oldie but a goodie, put it in the comments. Not now, but right now. An oldie but a goodie. So it is another day in the neighborhood. It's a lovely day in the neighborhood, shall I say. So I'm about to get my day started. Um, I've got a few things I need to get done today. I know I need to run out to get some products. I did look at, I did read you guys' comments from my last video. You guys said you would be interested in getting, going shopping with me for some skincare products and just trying to see what I use. Um, I don't really use anything, a lot of fancy stuff because I don't have like bad skin. Um, but I do try to take care of the skin that I do have because I realize that I'm getting older. And with when you're getting older, you realize that things start changing. And when things start changing, you got to, you know, keep up what's going on. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but anyways, but I'm going to get my, get ready to get my day started. I'm getting ready to log on. I actually work from home, so I don't have the, I don't have to get up and put clothes, like regular clothes on, like a lot of like people who go into the office. So I'm about to get my day started, get my work day started a little bit, log on. Um, and then I already, me and my husband already went out and got coffee. We went to the Hardee's, that's right around the corner. So I got me a cup of coffee. So that's why I'm a little, you know, feeling kind of nice. And I got me a, um, a biscuit over here, but I'm about to log on really quick. And yeah guys, so this is what life is, this is how life is going to be. So you guys are going to hang out with me for today, of course. You guys are going to hang out with me for the all the next few, uh, week or two until Christmas. So yeah. So come along. Oh, and let's go ahead and say a quick prayer. Let me hold your hand. Hold your hand out. Let's pray. God, we thank you for this day. Thank you for life, health, and strength. Thank you for my friends that are looking at this camp, at, at me right now. Thank you for my family, my friends, and my cousins, you guys. God, we want to say thank you for your many blessings. Thank you for life, health, and strength. Thank you for today that we've never seen in a day that we'll never see again. God, continue to cover us with your grace. God, continue to give us your mercy, Jesus. We've already used all the mercy that was done for yesterday, God. So we ask that you give us new grace and new mercy and give us new favor, God. Anything that we have done wrong, God, we ask that you forgive us for our shortcomings, Jesus. Uh, God, we want to be more like you, Jesus. Thank you for everything that you have blessed us with. And thank you for the doors that you have closed in the past, Jesus. And thank you for the doors that you were about to open, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for the seen and the unseen, Jesus. Bless us with our going out and bless us with our coming in, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, guys. So let's go and get our day started. And yeah, let's see what today brings. <music>
way to Target to do a pickup, but y'all already know what is a video for me without having a word for today. So, just to give you guys a backstory for those who are new to the channel, I am a mother of two teenage kids, okay? And they're boys. Um, I have one is 19 and the other one is about to be 17, okay? So, they are at that stage where, you know, they're teenagers are teenagers, okay? They are, if anybody can relate, y'all already know the, the struggles and the trials and the ups and the downs of having teenagers, boys, okay? Um, so... To make a long story short, I'm not going to go into details with everything, but just know that it's, 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 it's hard. It's very, very hard because I am young myself. I was a teen, I was a teen mom, um, and so therefore me and my oldest son basically kind of was raised together. You know what I'm saying? We were trying to figure it out together. Um... So I'm young myself, so I, there is no, I realize that there is no blueprint to parenting. Um, we're still trying to figure it out to this day. A lot of times I wish my mom was around so I could ask her and just for guidance, but you know, she's gone on to be gone on the glory. So therefore a lot of this teenage, uh, teenage test that I've been tested with, I really have to really pray and ask God for guidance because it's a struggle. It's been a true struggle. You know what I'm saying? Just trying to figure it out. Um, and having that Christian and that, that, that background, you know what I'm saying? We, it's deeply rooted as far as being raised up in the church, knowing the word, you know what I'm saying? Raised up in a, in a Christian family home or what have you. So therefore it's deeply rooted. It's in me. You know what I'm saying? And what's in me is going to come out. Um, so, like I said, back to what I was saying, there is no blueprint on parenting. You know what I'm saying? So, I've been trying to literally figure it out with my husband. Me and my husband, I really just really been trying to, we winging it. We winging it with his parenting stuff, y'all, because we ain't got it all figured out. We both young, and we don't know. So, I really had to just start, stay on my knees and ask God to help me, help me, because I don't know. Because these kids that these kids that I'm raising right now acting like they was raised in the barn. They acting like they ain't got good sense. You know what I'm saying? So I have been really fasting and praying. And last week I was fasting and asking God to just, God, just help me be a better mother. Show me me. Show me where I can improve. Help me to understand what they're going through. You know what I'm saying? I said, God, at save my children save them protect them you know what i'm saying and i stay having to to really pray and ask god to cover them every time they leave the house so i was on a seven day fast last week you guys and i asked god one of my prayer requests to ask god to save my boys and y'all when i say yesterday i get a random text I mean, a random. When I say random, it was random because I was not expecting this at all, at all. I get a random text from my son, and he said, "Mom, guess where I'm at?" I said, "Where you at?" He said, "I'm in church." I dropped the phone so quick. I, quick. I said, "I know you are." He's like, "No, I'm in church." I said, "I don't believe you." He sent me a screenshot of him being in church. Y'all, when I say I went forth. I went forth. I went in praise mode automatically because you cannot tell me. You cannot tell me what the power of praying and fasting will not do. So I am here to encourage, motivate. If you are wanting any type of answers, if you're needing any type of help, if you need God to answer any type of prayers, I solicit your, I solicit, ask you to fall down on your knees and give up a plate of food. If you can't fast for all day, at least fast for a certain period of time, fasting and praying will 
work. When I say it works, it works. It, it brought me so much joy. It brought me so much unspeakable joy to know that I didn't have to pump. I didn't have to pry. I didn't have to beg them to go to church. He said, Ma, guess where I'm at? I said, where you at? He said, church. And he sent me a screenshot of him at the back of the church. I mean, I don't care if you're at the back of the church or at the front of the church. He was at church. And I'm like, Lord, I thank you. Thank you for your, your amazing grace, God. Thank you for just answering my prayers. And that's just a small, that's just a tidbit. That's just something small that I had asked God for. And if I know if he did it for me, if he will do it for me, I know he will do it for you. And whatever it is that you are putting before God, just know that God has a way of answering all of our prayers. He might not say, he might not answer the prayers when you want him to answer the prayers, but he's right on time. And he won't necessarily say just no. He just might say not yet. Because his timing is always the perfect timing. It's always the best timing. And when I say we as mamas, we as daddies, we there is no blueprint to parenting. But the only blueprint we got is the Bible. So I have learned to fast and pray because that's it's, it's in me. It's in me to fast and pray. Honey. That's the only thing I know to do. Fast and pray. And when I say God will answer your prayers, he will answer your prayers. He will do it for you. Trust and believe, y'all. But anyways, I'm about to pull up the Target to get my Target pull-up order. And then we're going to go ahead and head back home. I just wanted to share that quick, quick word with you guys. Oh, God, I feel so good. I feel so good in my spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. And that ain't all he going to do. That ain't all he going to do. All my prayers, I know. Because God's answer is yes and amen. And I know I look fool right now, but I ain't getting out the car no way. I'm at the Target pickup. And that's all that matters. Okay. So I got it. Something's tugging at my sleeve. I do believe it's Christmas. It's cold.